This is Eugene Pan Rutkiewicz from the Laptop Screen Doc. The name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. And today we have an HP Pavilion G72 laptop computer that we're going to replace a cracked laptop screen on. Now, I made a video earlier with this model, and um, with the other video, I pretty much took the whole laptop apart to replace the screen. With this video, we're going to do a quicker method where you can get to the screws and just take the screen assembly part to replace the screen. So uh, the tools that we're going to need today are a pair of metal tweezers, an electronics screwdriver with a PH0 bit and a PH1 bit, an X-Acto knife blade or a razor blade will do, and a small flathead screwdriver. Now, the way the HP wants you to replace this screen is to take this top cover off, take the keyboard off, and get to the hinges and take the whole screen assembly out. And the reason they want you to do that is that there's some hidden screws down here that are hard to reach here and down here. So the trick is, is to use this small screwdriver to reach, to reach these hidden screws. And that's what I didn't do in the last video, and that's what I'm going to do in this video. So first thing we need to do is use the X-Acto knife blade to take off the plastic covers from the screen, from the screws. So let's go in and do that. Easily. This blade is going to go so it's a bit harder. There we go. It came off. Now the screw is exposed. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. And hopefully that comes off easier on this side. And now both screws are exposed. So here's the tricky part. We have to reach in with a small screwdriver and undo the, and open and screw the screw. Uh, so you want to get a good grip, and the first time you attempt to do it, you need to use a lot of pressure and force so it not just strip the screw. Okay, we did it. We open it up. There's one screw, and let's do the same for the other side. Okay, and this one went a little bit easier. And so now we take the screw out. So the reason that we take these screws out is to remove this plastic frame from around the screen assembly so we can get to the LCD screen itself. Now the way I like to remove the plastic frame off is use my fingers on the screen side and gently start frying up. And you listen for the snapping sounds. Once so you hear the snapping sounds, that's a good sign. That means the screen is coming off. Now on the top there's some adhesive, so you got to go carefully around, trying not to break the plastic cover. And carefully undo the adhesive. Slowly go around. And we went all the way around the sides. And now we go around the bottom. 
user is and the next thing we gotta do is go to the back and there's a seam on the back right here Let's see if we can get a good close up where we want to snap off the screen assembly from the bottom okay now it's come off now the plastic frame assembly should come out and there's some adhesive stuck and we just remove that and the plastic frame is off so now we have the screen okay so in order to remove the screen screen from the metal mounting brackets on the side there's some screws on the side that we have to get to and in order to do that we need to tilt the screen assembly forward a little bit in order to do that we need to remove these two top screws and that's what we're going to do next that's one and two so we try to tilt it forward a little bit and we still can't get to the screws here so the next trick is to loosen to the hinge screws don't take them out all the way just loosen them so that the screen can tilt forward and we can get to the side screws so there's four screws that you have to loosen on each side now when you're putting uh, everything back together make sure to tighten them again again it's really easy to forget to tighten them again until you put everything together and when you put everything together you don't remember if you did or not so you have to take everything apart again so we don't want that to happen now to we can access the small screws on the side now to do that we use the ph0 bit we can reach in there a little bit easier and make sure that the screen is tilted back a little bit so that it doesn't fall flat forward flat when all the screws are out because there's a connector on the back that we don't want to damage okay so that's two from this side and next we have to remove two from the other side so one and two. Okay. Now for this particular laptop, there's no webcam, so that's a good thing. If there was a webcam, there would be a small cable going back, and it's usually has an adhesive that sticks to the back of the screen, so you have to remove the adhesive before you put it forward. So now before we tilt it forward, you see if anything's blocking it, and now we tilt the screen forward. And this, it's a 17.3 inch LED screen, and Sorry for the background noise. It's a 17.3 inch LED screen and it only has one connector over here. It has some adhesive tape. We remove the adhesive tape and pull the connector back. And that's all. So let's take a look at this screen. It has one connector on the lower left and uh, some of the HP laptops that, that first had the LED screens have the connector on the lower right here. So when you take this apart, you got to make sure the connector is here. So this is the most common configuration is the lower left. So you got to confirm that. And the part number for this screen is LP173WD1. So when you do your search, you search for LP173WD1 and make sure that it says, it's, the screen says either glossy or glare on it 
that's the glossy finish. It doesn't say matte on it unless you want matte. And uh, most likely when you order a screen, they'll send you a compatible screen and it will look pretty much like this and the connector will be in the same side. Okay, so um, that's it. All you have to do is put everything everything back in. Let's see if we can get focus again. We can got to put everything back in. Just reverse the procedure. Make sure you tighten the hinge screws on the bottom. And uh, it shouldn't be a problem. So once again, my name is Eugene Panrikovich. The name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Okay, good luck.